Hi everyone, it's Doris, Kiwi Scrapper in New Zealand and here today to do a VR to promote a, um, a giveaway challenge and it's, it's Irene and a lot of people will know Irene, she lives in Australia and she's and her YouTube ID is Seriously Scrapping and she's doing a 450 plus giveaway challenge. Now that's running currently at the moment. I'm not too positive when the closing date is, um, but Irene does want you to post your entry into her. So you'll need to go over to her channel, Seriously Scrapping, and check out her um, challenge video. Um, okay, now, here's the incentive to do the challenge. Big cash prizes. Yeah, big cash prizes. So it's well worth entering this challenge. If you're not a friend of Irene's, of course she does want you to be a subscriber to her channel. Um, so if you don't know Irene, but you'd like to have the chance to win big, a big cash prize um, from this lovely lady, then pop on over to Seriously Scrapping. Seriously Scrapping on YouTube. And remember, she does want the items posted to her, so you'll need to check out the, give, uh, the um, challenge deadline date. I'm sorry, I can't give that to you at the moment. Um, and you can make anything at all for her. And even something um, flat and small, like a an altered book page, you know, a little album page, you can make anything for her, um, but it does have to be sent. So um, I'm not sure about cards. You'd have to check that out on her on her challenge video. So Irene has been a good friend of mine here on YouTube for um, well around a year. In fact, it, it was a year in August that I first um, come into contact with Irene. And, um, and we've been good friends ever since. Um, so I wanted to do something a little more substantial than something really small, um, simply because we are good friends. So Irene, I hope you love blue. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing blue, I must tell you before I show you what I've made for you, um, is that I saw recently saw a, um, a lovely little doily album and the cover was um, blue. It was a blue doily. I think it was blue and white or plain blue. I can't remember which. And that was done by, um, I was about to say Michelle Pfeiffer. Because <laughs> that's what her hair reminds me of. Michelle Pfeiffer, the actress. But her name is Michelle Pipling. Okay, so if you haven't, if you don't know Michelle, pop on over and say hi. She's uh, as well worth subscribing to her channel because she does some beautiful things. Okay, so now this is what I am doing. I told Michelle at the time when I saw her doily that I'm sure there was something blue inside of me just screaming to get out. So I've done it, and I've done it for Irene. <laughs> so there it is. Okay, now this is the first time I've done anything like this. Um, it is to go on a wall, or you could sit it flat on a table, I, I expect. I have put a hanger on it for it to go on a wall. But... You know, you could, if you wanted to, lay it flat um, if you had an area that you wanted to display it on. Um, I got this in, the inspiration for this. I was actually looking at, um, through some of the, my, the pictures in my albums that I've saved over the last two or three years um, on my iPad. And I came across one of a beautiful French um, bassinet drape. And right at the top of it, you know, where it drapes over the bassinet, um, it had sort of a, an, it, and it wasn't an image, it had a, an oval thing with like covered in lace and then lots of frills around it. And I thought, oh, I can use that. Yep, I can do that. I can do that for Irene. So that's what I've done. I chose this image because, as I said, I had blue screaming to get out. I love blue. Um, and we don't seldom see blue here on YouTube. So this is a beautiful, beautiful Victorian lady. It's a fabric image that I've had in my stash for quite some time. For the first time ever, I actually put padding underneath it. So you can see it, it goes, it's got padding right underneath it. And I tell you, this does add, it does add dimension rather than just keeping them flat. And the, what I started off with was um, I based it on cardboard, and then just put layers and layers um, and then I frilled up these two frills by hand because you know bought gathered lace is a bit like this one in the in the middle it's it's pretty flat mostly 
a little bit of gather in it but it's pretty flat so for what I wanted I wanted lots and lots of luxurious frills so I took this fabric here which I'm using as just to lay on the table um, which is an old curtain and it had a frill all around the bottom so I cut the frill off which is here and then I gathered it um, I made it as, as wide or as narrow as I wanted it, as narrow as I wanted it, I suppose you'd say. It's all hemmed anyway. And then I hand-stitched it and gathered it all up until, uh, in, until it fitted where I wanted it to fit. This was some lace from a very recent swap with Donna, and that's Donna Dreams X3. Um, and I did the same with that. It was actually a gathered piece, but it was quite flat for what I wanted. So, I again, I gathered it all up into a lovely beautiful frill and thank you Donna for giving me enough of that lace to be able to do this um, and that went around there so the first thing I did after I put the image on and padded it up and everything was to put that um, one here which I've tea stained very pale, pale tea staining then I put this frill on and then I put that last frill on um, and then I started to I just wanted simple embellishments around it because the focus is the lady and the frills so just to accentuate the um, the oval shape of her and the, the fact that she's padded I put these on and these are Wild Orchid Craft Roses and Wild Orchid Craft Buds um, I'm not sure whether they're the open or the Tuscany I think they're the open could even be the wild I, I, I'm not sure yeah anyway my apologies I don't think it's a cottage but anyway they're beautiful I love using Wild Orchid Craft flowers um, originally I started putting little smaller pink ones with the pearls but then I I didn't like it so much so I put the cream um, so around the bottom of this we've got some I've put a luxurious tail or tassel I don't know what you'd call it tassel tail and this is made up of um, three or four bits of chiffon um, some beautiful lace and some lovely um, blue ribbon and this was also um, this blue ribbon I got a roll of it a reel of it from along with some other reels of ribbon um, from Donna thank you very much Donna that was that's come in very handy actually I've used it several times now so that's that will hang down the side of when it's hung on the wall or drape over a table edge um, it's quite long and it's quite it gives it a very luxurious look so I'm just going to um, zoom in on that for you so that you can see that beautiful image Whoops! and I didn't want to put the pearls all the way around because I just didn't want to do that I just thought it looked nicer if I just put them like that I tried it several different ways I kept coming back to this way there's a little um, tassel here, a little tail rather of um, smaller pearls and vintage tones just coming down there so that's that, um, it's all the way down there, and all the way up there. And I just love this, really, I do. I'm going to make one for myself, and I'm going to make one for another lady, but I'm not going to tell her who that lady is, and I'm not going to tell her um, what image I'm going to use or what colours. But anyway, this is a beautiful image, I just love it. So. Um, there's the White Orchid Craft Roses and the Rosebud, the beautiful frills. And we'll just zoom out there again, I think that's as much as we can zoom out. And again, as I say, it's got all these beautiful tails, uh, tassel underneath here, that obviously I can't show in its entirety because it wouldn't fit into the camera. But that will just drape down there and go on with that. And in her hair, I put this um, this lovely little blue to match her gown. I put this lovely blue sparkly bit of bling I had because she had she's got a blue headband here and it had a little gap in the middle um, where her hair was obviously covering it or um, or it was hidden in her hair. So I popped that in and I think that just completes the whole picture. And she's just a beautiful, beautiful lady. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to you. This one, this is the first one I've done like this. Um, oh, I'll show you the back first. Um, yeah, I've covered everything up, put this little um, thing, I, I didn't want anything hanging up the top, so this is how she just clip this, if she wants to hang it on the wall, she just clip this over the nail or the hanger, and that's, I've covered all where the, um, the tassel is, 
So there it is in all its beautiful entirety. And I hope you love it Irene. So um, don't forget pop on over to Irene's 450 plus giveaway challenge and um, subscribe to her and join in the fun. Okay ladies and gents, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.